I'm Ryan Lindsay, and you're watching Q&A with Lady K, and it's CCMA Week. I'm a sales, I'm crazy, four years of college and I'm working with my hands. Suit and tie, ain't for me, I'ma get dirty boots in the mud kind of man. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me today. It's lovely meeting you, and I know you have an extremely busy schedule. You uh, played at the Diamonds in the Rough Showcase last night. You're performing again tonight. What do you, how are you enjoying the uh, country, Canadian Country Music Week here in Hamilton? I'm really enjoying it. This is actually my second year um, here at CCMAs. Last year was in Saskatoon, right. and it was my first year and I had just kind of kick-started my career, so I came up with my first, very first uh, radio single in the spring, yep. and this year I finally know people, and I'm like bumping into people that, hey, 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 you know, it's so good to see you again, yeah. and that's so cool. You really, we really have a sense of community here, and it's a tight-knit community, so yeah, yes. that's been fun. Now you're single, doing all right. I love it. I've been listening to it ever since it came out. I kid you not, every single Friday I had to go to work, I would listen to it to pump myself up. <laughs> That's so wonderful. <laughs> and it's just, honestly, it has a great beat. It has a wonderful country feel. It's, it's awesome, it really is. What, um, what about the song is special to you? Well, it was my first song and it was, it was a song that I used to just kind of kickstart my um, solo career and it's just a feel good Friday night country song. Um, there's no girl in it. It's just like, and hey, I like singing about girls, that's all good. But um, this is just like, hey, we're just kicking back and no matter what, life's great. And I, I live by a motto, I've said this many times before, but I really believe that the best day ever is the one that you're in. So that's why we said, you know, could be doing better, but hey, I'm doing all right. <laughs> What do you love most about performing in front of a live audience? Um, crowd interaction. I think that for me, when I'm performing, uh, the first thing that I try to do is break that barrier between like performer and audience. Like music is about sharing, sharing the groove and sharing moments. And um, so, yeah, that's that's really how I try to approach my live show, and it's really fun. And when you are performing, you do a mix of your own original songs as well as some country songs that have inspired you. So when you are performing the covers, how do you make them your own? Sure, well, I mean, I will tell people the story of how those songs really have shaped me as an artist because like Vince Gill and Garth Brooks, Alan Jackson, these guys are a huge part of who I am as a performer because they were such a big part of my childhood growing up and how I shaped my voice and my music early on. And it just kind of becomes an intrinsic part of who you are. So yeah, it, it, it's funny how you play those songs so many times and it just kind of, you feel like it's just part of your show. What was the, what was the little spark that made you want to pursue this career? Um, I actually have one moment in particular where I remembered that I wanted to pursue country music and it was when I was 10 years old. Uh, my grandfather had just bought me a guitar a year earlier and I sat around a campfire and played like, I can't remember, it was like Ring of Fire or some Johnny Cash oh, Johnny song. Cash, yes. <laughs> and um, we were sitting around the fire and it was at a family reunion and everybody was kind of spread out and stuff. and. Um, I started playing this song and everybody came in around the campfire and sang this song. And I thought, wow, that's so, such a cool way to connect to people. Yeah. And I later realized like, this is the universal language. This is a way that I can actually communicate my feelings and connect with other people in a very real way. So that, that for me was, was the moment. When you are writing your own songs, where do you draw inspiration from? Um, day-to-day -day life like I you know my childhood the places I grew up like the little the little dirt road that I used to bike down when I was a kid and places I went fishing and and not just when I was a kid but like um, 
you know, living in the country, being, being a wilderness guide for a while and like sitting under the stars at night. And, and that's a huge part of my uh, songwriting, just, just the, the country. Um, so yeah, I mean, other artists I think tend to, tend to write about bars and um, the city and that kind of thing. But I feel like my thing is still rooted in the country and, and uh, the places that I've been, so. Well, this is perfect because I came up with a little game for you called How Country Are You? Country pie or shepherd's pie? Shepherd's pie because my mother's shepherd's pie is amazing. To die for. Yeah, at every Christmas. Cross country skiing or downhill skiing? Cross country skiing. I actually lived in Camrose, Alberta for six years, which is like the Nordic community of Alberta. Yeah. And they are avid cross country skiers. Country style or Tim Hortons? I, I actually have no idea what country style is. You've never so. had country style no, I've donuts never had, or no, coffee? Never. Is no. this a thing out east? Well, we we have country styles and <laughs> don't know. <laughs> don't know. Should I know what this is? <laughs> Uh, we may have to can go I, find country style can now. Can I have like a third option for like hometown coffee shop or something like that? Country club or mini golf? Uh, country club. I actually, I, I'm not a huge golfer, but uh, I did used to golf quite a bit when I was like 14 years old. Well, I'd say you're you're maybe half. Half country, half. I'm, I'm half. Half. Half, half. Like half. That. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Ryan. It's been so nice chatting with you. Before I let you go, what can we expect from you in the next coming months? Cool, well, um, at the end of this month, I'm gonna be releasing another single, which I'm very excited about. Yay. And uh, in the new year, I have a very exciting project coming up that I haven't announced yet, so you gotta watch for it. Stay tuned, people can check out all your social media links for all the late breaking news. Yes, yeah. you betcha. Well, thank you so much again. It was lovely chatting with you. Enjoy the rest of your time here at Hamilton. And I'd like to give a big shout out to the Hamilton Public Library for hosting this interview. Oh, hey, have you hit the subscribe button yet? Because I'd hate for you to miss more videos like this one.